I am right here at the United Nations headquarters where the 62nd session of the Commission on the Status of Women is currently taking place. Uh, the priority theme for this year is how to ensure we can use peace and security as a pathway to ensure economic development for our women and girls in the rural areas. This is of key interest to Nigeria, of course, as we know um, the current emerging issues um, with the abduction of the Chibok girls as well as the Dapchi girls. And this is essential if we are to give our strongest support to the women and girls of the world as they fight for their rights. Dear friends, Progress for women and girls means changing the unequal power dynamics and underpin discrimination and violence. This is not the only greatest human rights challenge of our time. It is also in everyone's interest. Discrimination against women damages, damages communities, organizations, companies, economies, and societies. This is why all men should support women's rights and gender equality. And that is why I consider myself a proud feminist. It focused on challenges and opportunities in achieving gender equality as well as addressing peace and security issues faced by women and girls in rural areas. On the back of the conference, the Nigerian delegation held two side events led by the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Aisha Jumai Al-Hassan. The events were aimed at addressing issues of peace and security, as well as strategies to eradicate gender-based violence in Nigeria. In 2015, the Nigerian legislature passed the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, but it still needs to be domesticated in 26 states for it to become enforceable. At the moment, only 12 states have adopted it. The issue of gender budgeting, which will make sure that money is made available uh, for gender issues in the national, national budget. All of government, all of society, we're looking at the faith-based organizations, civil service organizations, media, we're looking at every facet of government, from local government, to federal government, to the state government, and all, you know, all hands must be on deck to ensure that the women and children and their rights are not violated. And it's very important for states to domesticate the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. If this act is pro, um, domesticated in their states, then of course it will be very difficult for um, women and children's rights to be abused. The Nigerian ambassador to the United Nations, Ambassador Tijani Mohamed Bande, insists that it is important to free the rural women from constraint in terms of health, human trafficking, and its adverse effects. We should continue to state what the issues are and what efforts are being undertaken by our various governments, state, local, and federal, but also what other countries are doing so that if there are things from them we can learn that do not go outside our national laws because you don't just come here to go and say we do this you have to look at whether they fall into the framework of their laws the next step is actually to go back to nigeria to execute all of the solutions and ideas that have been discussed right here at the csw anytone kdg rstv